Welcome back for this final segment of training camp tonight. With soft tissue injuries plaguing the cornerback room, there have been a few guys who've been able to take advantage of the extra reps they've been given, including a third-year corner out of Illinois State, Devontae Harris. Ryan Edwards and Benjamin Albright caught up with Harris after practice today to learn what he loves about this Denver defense, now just 13 days away from the season opener. Joined now by Broncos cornerback Devontae Harris. Devontae, how you doing, man? Doing pretty good. Can't complain. How has training camp gone for you? How do you feel like the defense is gelling right now? Uh, I think we have a really good defense. Uh, up front, linebackers, uh, DBs, we just got a lot of guys, a lot of depth, and in a lot of rooms where we're uh, uh, fighting to try and figure out uh, who's going to be here. And I feel like it's the most uh, competitive environment I've ever been in. You know, prior to training camp starting, I think the national narrative was that corner might be a weak link for the Denver Broncos. We've seen this training camp play out. Looks like it might actually be a strength. How, did you guys take that and use that as fuel going into this training camp? I mean, it's one of those things where uh, uh, it's a lot of the guys uh, that we, uh, we had last year. Uh, and last year, uh, there are some things that we did really good, and there are things that we need to, to improve on. Uh, uh, so this year was to, to main thing, uh, maintain the things that we did well and improve on the things that we didn't do well. So uh, this offseason has, has been just huge competition, especially with uh, me, uh, Yadman, and, and, and uh, Bosby. So, uh, like, every day, even though we're competing against each other, we're uh, picking each other up, we're helping each other out, and uh, best man wins. So, like, we're really close on the field, off the field, and uh, uh, really just trying to do the best to make each other better. Yeah, can you explain that a little bit? How does that you strike that balance between supporting each other, knowing you're all on the same roster, but you're also competing for snaps? And of course, some of this was also kind of part of the team last year too. But this year, you have the kind of open competition. And Vic Fangio said you guys have all been kind of neck and neck throughout this whole process. How would you describe that balance between support and competition? Uh, I think it's easy when you have a lot of really good guys around you because you want them good for good people. So, uh, um, like, we all want, uh, like, a home here. We all want a spot here. But at the end of the day, when you're competing against good people, you mean, uh, as long as we all have the same information, uh, as, as long as we, we have, the, the, like, the same drive, we just want the best guys here. And uh, we all came into the season. We all understand that. Uh, and we're just working to uh, just to try and grow. And, and, uh, and like I said, before the uh, best man wins, uh, whether it's me, Boss, Ike, or all three, whatever, you mean, like, whatever happens, um, they're going to be my guys whether we're here or not. When you look at where this defense was this time last year to where it is now, what would you say is the biggest improvement that you guys have made? Uh, this time last year, I wasn't here. <laughs> uh, right. I mean, you were within a week or two. but Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I feel like the defense as a whole has improved. I feel like uh, there's a lot of guys who kind of know their role. Uh, Last year, I think guys were looking for roles, and I think this year, uh, everybody ha like has an idea of what's expected of, of them, and, and and it gives us an advantage to say, hey, this is my role, this is my job, this is what I'm going to do well, this this time I'm going to help contribute to the team, and and I think last year, um, we were trying to gel together and find that balance on on who did what and who was good at what. Have you guys reached that point in training camp where you're sort of tired against going against the same players? Tired? I mean, I see the pot, pads popping out there. You guys are crowing on the uh, defensive side. The offensive side is kind of crowing when they get after you guys. So have you guys reached that point in camp where you're sort of ready to, to face some other competition? We waited several months for this. Uh, I could do this for another two or three months. I mean, it, it, like <laughs> this is something that uh, during the offseason we weren't sure uh, would be an opportunity. So this was highly anticipated. Uh, so, so I'm sure you guys are tired, but at the, at the end of the day, uh, we're all aware that the situation, that football could be taken away from us. So um, as long as we have the, the opportunity to compete, that's what we're going we're gonna to do. You know, DBs always take pride in getting in the receivers and the quarterbacks' heads. Who's the best smack talker out there? K-Jack, by far. He, he, talks, he talks the most. And uh, I, actually, whenever he's talking, uh, like, it gives me energy. Like, I'm not the type of one who's just going to go – go out there and talk crazy. But when, when, when K-Jack says something, then I got to back it up. So I got to go make my play when, when he's talking on, on my behalf. Speaking of giving each other energy, what was it like practicing in the stadium with no fans? Uh, I mean, it, it was different, but it wasn't different um, because training camp, we're, we're uh, competing at a high level and nobody's there. So um, that just, I mean, that's just what the thing is, what we got to do. Uh, that's integrity. That's doing the right thing and un, un, doing all the right things when nobody's watching or when nobody's there. So uh, 
I mean, it wasn't any, any different to me. The defense, uh, I, we went out there, did what we were supposed to do. And, and we just got to make plays, whether it's 70,000 people or seven people. Got to love it. You know, you guys are coming off the legacy of the no-fly zone that preceded you. I don't know if you guys have come up with a nickname yet for yourselves, but what have you got in store? What are you looking forward to to carry on that Denver Broncos defensive back legacy this season? Uh. I don't think we necessarily need a nickname. I just think we need an image. You know, I just think we need to uh, go into a game and people to, to understand that it's going to be a hard time throwing the ball in the air. You, you might want to keep the ball on the ground. So uh, whether we, we get a nickname or not, I could care less. But as long as we make plays and, and we create an image, that's all that counts. What do you think about your uh, defensive front? Oftentimes for DBs, you have the, the situation where most of the work that you guys can get done on the back end really comes from that defensive pressure. So what have you thought about their performance so far in camp? We got some dogs. <laughs> we, got a, we, uh, we got a lot of dogs up front, a lot of big guys who uh, fill holes. Like, like I was talking to, to Vaughn yesterday, and I was like, man, like, do you realize that you just pushed him back 10 yards and he's like 260 pounds? Like you literally walked him back. You know what I mean? So you, you have guys like that who just make a lot of plays and just really um, big playmakers and like all up front. Uh, just a lot of really good guys, and they do their job, and they make our job easier. It's incredible. Devontae, thank you so much for the time. We really appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me. Well, be sure to tune in to KOA Radio every weeknight from 7 to 11 to hear even more from Ryan Edwards and Benjamin Albright. But that is all the time we have for this edition of Training Camp tonight. But be back here tomorrow, same time, same place for the Day 15 recap. Also, be sure to join us tomorrow morning at 9.15 for Training Camp Live. The Hall of Famer Steve Atwater will be joined by the one and only Ed McCaffrey. Also, head to DenverBroncos.com or our social channels for all the latest and greatest content out of the UC Health Training. Center. Thank you so much for watching this edition of Training Camp Tonight, powered by Ford.